Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you a platform. You know what time we about to get into now? Oh, we about to get into the sass segment. Ooh. And this week, we're going over Tenant on HBO Max. Ooh. Tenant, man. It's one of those Christopher Nolan directed ass movies. So you know this shit was going to be on some old, damn, you don't know what the fuck going on. Shit coming out of left field, right field, center field, all types of field. <laughs> David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but Christopher Nolan, he's been known to do movies like The Inception. Y'all seen Inception? Pretty fucking good movie. But let me get into the logistics of the movie. You feel me, you know? IMDB gave it 7.4 percent. Or percent. 7.4 out of 10. And Rotten Tomatoes gave it 70 percent. But fuck those critics. Because you know how I feel about them motherfuckers. They go eat a dick. Um, This came out September 3rd, 2020. So this came out like last year. You feel me? But I decided to watch it now because they decided to put it on HBO Max. So, ah. Yeah, but the director was Christopher Nolan. Uh, and we know how this nigga direct. He, uh, uh, he's out left field with a lot of things. And he's trying to put little hints and shit in things. So you make you figure it out on your own. And he always leave the ending where it's like, bring up your own conclusion. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, has some great actors. Such as, let's, David Washington, man. Let's get, let's go. Yo, he's always in some good films, man. And he be like his damn daddy, whooping everyone's ass with just regular appliances. In this movie, he fucking whooped the nigga ass with a cheese grater. I was like, oh shit, goddamn. Damn, David Washington, whoop that nigga ass with a cheese grater. Fuck. But it also had Robert Pattinson and more. Have such a great cast. Fuck with it. Good job. But basically the movie is uh, David Washington, a CIA agent. It's how it starts out. And he gets saved by this unmasked soldier. The unmasked soldier, though, later on down the line, you figure out, oh, it's just him. He's saving his fucking self. But what happened was he saved himself, and he saw the inverted bullet. It was like, he was like, what the? Oh, shit. And then he took some cyanide or whatever. You feel me? He thought he was going to die. Boom, woke up. And he found out, oh, the CIA was testing him. Ain't that some bullshit tests? Nigga didn't even get time to study the shit. Damn. Nigga thought he was going to die. He woke up. Oh, y'all motherfuckers testing me? This how y'all do? Fuck you niggas. <laughs> but yeah. Then it goes on like he uh he um like meets with this uh this scientist or whatever. He brings a bullet and like she explains to him like, yo, it's this thing called tenant. And like everybody explained it to David Washington what tenant is. But I'm going to tell you down the line, oh, the motherfucking flip, the, twat, the uh, plot twist. <laughs> but look it though. Explains him like, yo, what's happening is this is inverted. This is from like the future. So it's people for the future coming to affect the past. So he finds that out. And like one of the things that confused me because like they, they were using this glove and I thought it was going to be substance on the glove is the reason why they could do the inversion stuff. But it isn't. It has nothing to do with it. So that threw me off. But he finds that out and then he like talks to this dude named Neil. Neil, his good friend and shit. And like they're talking about it. And basically he meets up with this one chick and this chick is like her husband evil the evil doer the fucking villain was like yo he wants to destroy the world and basically once he dies the world is going to be destroyed if this certain contraption gets stuck and they blow it up so they're looking for the pieces and try to fucking say that shit and then like he meets up with this um this other chick and they talk about being the protagonist and she's like oh you're not the only protagonist but David Washington is the only protagonist. He's the real nigga to save the fucking day. She was there to try to fucking fuck up everything in the past and also destroy the world. She wanted to kill the fucking chick and the little kid. Fucked up. But yeah, she was trying to say like, yeah, I came from the future too. And like, you know what I mean? I'm here to save the world just like you, buddy. He was like, okay. Then it's all like, bro, the effects and shit in this movie was fucking good. But my gripe was 
These motherfuckers was trying to do that inversion trick a little too much. They were trying to do too much with the shit. I fuck with it, but it was like, these niggas one time like, they had the fight where they were like training. How the fuck do I punch inverted? Niggas was like this. Trying to act like they were inverted. But they were moving in the same way. Then they tried to do the old little Matrix shit. The blue and red shit. They had that shit a couple times in the movie. And they also tried to have a little weak ass Call of Duty moment. Where the blue team versus the red team. Blue team inverted. Red team not. Uh. But if they would have cut out some of that shit. It was a lot of fluff. I would have been fine with that. Like the movie was two and a half hours. And this movie could have been two hours. Like... My opinion. They could have cut out a lot of fluff. But he's starting to get answers and he's starting to uh us uh, like get his answers like, okay, what's tenant? Like, oh shit, like how's this happening? What is tenant? This and that. And um at one point, Neil, like they, they break off and fight these fucking soldiers. Essentially, David Washington is really fighting himself. And then the other one where Neil ran off to him, he saw, oh, it was him. So basically it's like timelines. Like the nigga coming into the future different times. Boom, boom, boom. And then what happened is it's like one of the gist of the stories, like the, the chick, hit her dude, is fucking pissed that she don't want his ass no more. So he like, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. I'm destroying the world. Fuck out of here, bitch. That's basically his sentiment. And she was like, no, I want my kid. I love my kid. Blah, blah, blah. La, 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 la. <laughs> like, that's basically the gist, though. And, like, when her and David Washington meet, they were, like, he he was like, damn, I'm familiar. Da, da, da. And then she told him the whole plan and, like, this is what my husband wants to do. And he met up with the, her husband and her husband like, he knows about Tenet also. And he was like, as he was like, oh, did you fuck my wife? And then he was like, not yet. It was supposed to be like, it's like a joke. But is it a joke? Ooh, wait till the end. I'll tell you the, tw the plot twist when I get there. So, that was the whole gist. They were trying to stop this nigga from destroying the world. And then he was going to this other chick. And the other chick was feeding him false information to like... Talk about she was trying to act like she was the good guy protagonist, but she was a fucking bad guy too in the very end. So when they had the little Call of Duty war and shit, and they were trying to fucking they were uh using that. The bad guys was using like the bad dudes using that as a distraction to all right, I'm about to fucking destroy the world. I'm gonna fucking kill myself and had this shit fucking dropped in, and once I kill myself, whole world gonna go to shit. Cause basically. The inversion and the verdict world, they're going to collide together and shit's going to be just poof, destroyed. And they had a one scene where it kind of explained it where like David Washington, he was in a car chase and he fucking got smacked up or whatever. And like the uh, the car flipped over in the gasoline and the bad nigga was like, yeah, nigga, I'm about to kill you. Bam. And he lit it up and the car caught on fire. And then it basically hypothermia happened and like it froze over or saved his life. But. What it was, it was because the, uh, the, uh, was it the bullet or something was inverted. I'm pretty sure it was the lighter in like the gasoline or something. It was like the inversion. So that's why that happened. But that was going to happen to the whole world when this nigga killed himself. Boom! But then come down to it. This nigga, this nigga, uh, uh, David Washington. He was invert. He was doing the whole tennis shit and inverted himself, or whatever. Came back to the past to save the past, and like Neo was helping him, and like they stopped the dude, they stopped the henchman or whatever from putting this fucking machine thing into the thing into some other fucking bomb thing to destroy the world. And then the ex ex wife of the dude was stalling him out, was like, so he wouldn't kill himself. Before that shit exploded. But she lightweight jumped the gun. She was all fucking mad. She was like, I've been wanting to kill this nigga, man. Fuck. So then, like, she jumped the gun a little bit. But lucky they fucking saved the day and time and got that fucking piece or whatever. And fucking, man, 
She jumped the gun like a motherfucker, bro. That shit was crazy. But one of the things in the movie that, like, it was like a diversion, but I was like, oh, this shit is tight. They were showing, like, rich people how they use art to invade taxes, and I thought that was going to be a big part of the movie, and actually it wasn't. It was just a diversion. It was total bullshit. The art part was total bullshit. But the uh, only thing that did was tie everybody together to meet each other and shit. But after that, husband dead, bam. Shit, say it or whatever. But the one chick that's claimed she was the protagonist, she was actually the antagonist. This nigga David Washington finds out because Neil not only hits him with a hint, but he has his backpack. And it has like this little fucking string with some metal thing on it. And David Washington saw that shit, one, from like a dead body. But then he saw it again when bro was like walking out to the ship. And Neil was like, yo, bro, our relationship in here for me. But for you, it's the beginning. You're going to watch. You'll see. And then this nigga David Washington, he figures it out. Oh, nigga, I'm the one that created Tenet. The whole time I didn't know what it was, I'm the creator. Plot twist. Oh. And so then he goes to the other chick while she in the car. She in the car waiting for the ex-wife to come out to school. And she going to murk her and still, you know, complete the plan of destroying the world and shit. But nope, he kills her. Bap, bap. They watch him. He comes in the car. Yeah, bitch, I'm the protagonist. I'm the one that created this. Beep, 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 beep. Shoot her up. But it ends right there. And it ends with not only David Washington is the one that created Tenet, but you don't know. The little kid, is that Neil the whole time? Because they both had that ugly-ass, weak-ass haircut. The little kid and Neil, the grown-up. And it's like, oh, that might be, that might be Neil. And now it makes sense of why they known each other for so long. And it also makes sense why the one bad guy asked David Washington, hey, so did you fuck my wife? Maybe he did. Because now he's meeting her now. Boom. They had a relationship. Or none of that shit could have happened. That's what Christopher Nolan does. You don't know. You make up your own fucking ending at the end of the fucking day. <laughs> like, damn. But, hey, this movie was this movie was really good to me. I get this shit an 8 out of, out of 10. Only thing I wish it was they would cut out some of the fluff. Just cut out some of that fluff. Every, everything else was good. Storyline is good. I still might need to watch it again because it's like, it's still kind of confusing on like some parts and shit. But for the most part, that was the gist of the movie. That was the fucking gist. Yeah. Good job, y'all. Great job. Yeah, David Washington, Christopher Nolan. I see y'all. Tenny. Look it. In the comments below, let me know what y'all thought of Tenny. You feel me? If y'all watched it. If you didn't watch it, hella spoilers. Maybe you don't want to watch this segment. <laughs> But yeah, let me know. Let me know what y'all think of Tenet. Or if y'all had any, like, conspiracies or any ideas of what Tenet was. Let me know. I would love to hear them. Woo! But anyway.